just telling us a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, I'm a tech nerd through and through. My dad was an engineer, so we always had all kinds of gadgets around the house. He built his own TVs, built his own stereos. He worked for Western Electric and IBM early in his career coming out of the military. So I kind of had that in my blood from an early stage. I had all those Radio Shack kits where you could create all kinds of different electronic things, built models, all these different things that kids do, don't do today or they do them virtually on their computer or their iPads. But I learned how to, to do a lot of different things through that area. And I always carried that love of tech and then when I got into my professional career, I was lucky enough to land a job with the Electronic Industries Alliance, which was a group that represented the U.S. electronics industry. And that, that eventually morphed into working for the Consumer Technology Association, which many of you know is the owner and operator of the CES, which happens in Las Vegas every year, although they've had to do it virtually this past year. So got to spend a good bit of time there, got to see all the major technological innovations that came across the pipeline, HDTV, DVD, satellite radio, all these different technologies that came along for the car, for personal devices. It was really amazing to go to the event, go to the CES and see all those things emerge over time. But then eventually I was able to transition to my current role here as CEO of CompTIA. And CompTIA is a little bit more about the business of technology itself, more so than the Consumer Technology Association, which was more about the products, We're much more about the business of technology here, and then also the things that we do to help people get rewarding careers in the tech industry. So I've been able to absorb all that, been able to have that as kind of one of the loves of my life is technology, and it's been a, a great ride. What are the biggest differences in um, the two different roles and how did working on the product side sort of prepare you for your role right now as president and CEO? Well, I was a senior executive in the other organization, participated at the board level in terms of determining the goals and strategies for the organization. So a lot of that is very much the same. I was also the chief economist of the organization as well. So I did a lot of media was out there speaking about the industry, talking about major trends, doing forecasting of new product categories like HDTV when that rolled out, being able to be involved in seeing those numbers. And I was pretty accurate in those first several years of the launch of HDTV in, in the US, modeling it against the rollout of Color TV years ago. But I felt very prepared when I moved in to this role. I had large staffs of people that I was responsible for in my previous role and then coming here to this organization. But I think one of the biggest things was taking and bringing in people and bringing in quality people into the organization. So over a period of time, transitioning staff and building up different parts of the organization. And whereas the previous organization was very member focused when I came to CompTIA, it wasn't as much member focused. A lot of associations and nonprofits that have profitable arms of their business, like a trade show, or in the case of CompTIA certification and training, they, stay, they get really focused on that and they forget about serving the core needs of their membership. So we kind of reestablished ourselves in that space. But today we have a highly engaged staff. We're consistently recognized as one of the best places to work in the Chicago area. And I'm very proud of the things that we've achieved during my tenure.